These kids are so polished. As a debater, I've been to many debate tournaments, but this one has made it more unique. I thought I was, you know, I've been to every competition. I'm like, okay, I think I'm getting a general feel on how everyone works around this, but there's a whole new ballpark I haven't even discovered yet. Um, I think it's probably the best experience I've had in my life so far. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity. What I like about debate is how you have a subject that you may have never even heard of before and you have to be able to argue both for it and against it. It helps you relate to people, especially those you wouldn't normally agree with. Um, through speech and debate in general, it's helped so much with building confidence, um, senses of self, how to articulate things to people. Well, they, they take in the information differently and faster than a normal judge sort of thing. So they want to be told at the very end what is the bottom line. Is the Your argument could have been self-preservation comes first, which you should have said first, right? In your first speech, self-preservation comes first before morality. Because I don't care if it's good or bad. If I'm hungry, I need to preserve myself. I would steal a piece of bread to eat, right? Then in the morality question, you should say, you could say that even if you don't want, you don't buy the value of morality, if self-preservation comes first, that means I still win because my whole contention is talking about separate self-preservation by helping others. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, either rolling up the sleeves, nice move. Okay. <laughs> what president rolls up his sleeve? You know, President Roosevelt, the United States president, rolled up his sleeve all the time. Who? Obama. You guys remember?